I do not own Biker Mice from Mars, Initial D, or any of its characters. No money was made from this production. Biker Mice from Mars belongs to Rick Unger, and Initial D belongs to Suichi Shigano. Biker Mice from Mars, Mountain Drift. Chapter 15. Hector. You guys sure you don't want anything to eat? Manuel asked Takami and Mika. Oh, that's all right. We had breakfast at the hotel. Mika said. All right. Manuel then fixed some eggs and fried some potatoes, then split them between him and Throttle, who then got off the bed and moved to the computer. Mind if I try a few things with those maps? Throttle asked. It could narrow down my search. Go ahead, Manuel said as he handed Throttle his plate. Throttle brought up the maps and started to apply some filters. Compared to computers they had on Mars, operating one on Earth was child's play. He narrowed down the search areas to a bayou in Florida and an area somewhere outside Chicago. Manuel was impressed. You sure do know your computers, Manuel said. We had to do a lot of hacking during the war on Mars, Throttle explained. This is just a scaled-down version of that. What did you hack on Mars? Manuel asked. Tons of things. Encrypted enemy archives, weapon databases, security systems. The usual stuff you'd have to hack in a war. Wow! Manuel smiled. You must know quite a bit, then. Comes with joining the Freedom Fighters. Throttle answered. I had to learn a lot and learn it quick. So, Manuel, I don't mean to change the subject, but last night you were talking about how your dad's diner was dedicated to your brother and that he raced. Takami said, changing the subject. You said his name was Hector? Itsuki and Nikitani wanted to see if we could meet him sometime. Manuel's good mood dropped a ton of pegs. A tear ran down his face as he slowly turned to the apartment window. <sighs> Manuel? Something wrong, man? Was it something I said? Takami asked, confused. I'm... I'm sorry, Takami. Your friends ask the impossible. Hector's been dead for years. Manuel said. He died in his last race. The International Speedmaster Competition in California. Somehow, during the last stretch of the race, he lost control and his car rolled. At his maximum speed. Takami felt awful after hearing those words. I'm... I'm sorry, man. We didn't know that. Don't worry about it, Manuel said. It was supposed to be his greatest goal. He wanted to be the champion. The Master of Speed. That's the title you get when you win. It's the ultimate racing title recognizable even internationally. I've heard of this Speedmaster competition, Takami said. There are lots of cameras there, and the race is broadcast via internet and cable. Not to mention the cars are heavily modified to reach speeds well past 250 kilometers per hour, or in the United States Imperial units, 155 miles per hour. They go at such high speeds on long straight courses, with some sharp turns in between that there's no room for error. Throttle looked up from the computer. How long have you held this in, Manuel? Manuel sighed. <sighs> four years. It happened four years ago. That's why I don't mention racing in front of Dad or Mom. If they knew I still raced, they'd blow a gasket. Why do you still race, then, if they forbid it? Mika asked. To honor Hector, Manuel replied, unable to stop the tears stream from his eyes. It's, it's the only way I know how. 
How exactly did this happen? Throttle asked, getting up from the computer. I'm not even sure, Manuel said. It was it was on the last stretch of the course. He was approaching the finish line. His final opponent, Yuya Kirifudo, was behind him in an Acura NSX. Hector was leading a pack of six cars, and he was almost to the finish line when one of the tires on his Mustang exploded. <laughs> his car then went out of control as it slid on the wheel rim, then it flipped and rolled over ten to twelve times before hitting the wall. Manuel started to choke up on describing the memory. Throttle put a hand on Manuel's shoulder. I know it hurts to remember. I've lost friends and family too. Do you have any pictures of your brother? Manuel then went to his dresser, opened a drawer, and got out some photos, showing them to the group. In them stood a man of medium build with long blonde hair, wearing sunglasses. Each photo appeared to show him at either a car show, in a garage working, or after a race holding a trophy. Some even showed him next to various cars. The most recent one was dated four years ago, showing the man next to a heavily modified Ford Mustang. That's him, Manuel said. And the last car he ever drove. I always thought of him as a hero. Someone I wanted to be like when I grew older. Throttle didn't need to ask. He already knew now. He reminded Manuel of his dead brother. He gave a sad smile as he looked at the photographs, comparing the similarities of Hector with himself. Don't cry, Manuel. I'm sure Hector would be very proud to see how far you've come since then. Mika said, smiling. Now, why don't we get our minds off of the depressive state and get back on track? We better hurry or we'll be late for that golf meetup. Manuel's mind snapped back to the present reluctantly, looking over at the wall clock. She was right. Okay, I guess that's enough of a trip down memory lane. Manuel wiped his tears away and grabbed his keys. You still got that cell throttle? Yeah. Throttle said. And don't worry about me, I'll be fine. Have a good time at the golf course.